and you've suffered obviously with quite a lot of injuries over the yeah. years. That must have been you know heartbreaking when, when you've been training and preparing for for a specific tournament or, or, or the Olympics. Uh, mm. how, how do you how have you or how do you deal with these kind of injuries? Uh, it has been very difficult for sure. Um, missing 2012 was probably the most difficult part for me. That was a very dark year for me because I, I remember when we actually won the Olympic Games. And I was still fairly early in my career, but I was doing quite well on a world stage. I remember thinking, this is where I could potentially get my gold medal in London. I was thinking, what a dream. Like, you know, this, I couldn't get any better. So to pick up a freak injury the year before in 2011, um, where basically I was in a training camp in Italy, and we have these plyometrics boxes. Uh, plyometrics is just a fancy word for hopping and bounding and stuff like that. So we was bounding on and off these boxes, so hopping off and off, on and off these boxes. And I went straight through the box, the box just collapsed. And this was the year before the Olympic Games. Um, and people said to me, you know, this is, this is career threatening, not just can you make it back for the, for the um, Olympics, can you make it back at all? And I managed to make it back just in time. You know, my, my mindset straight away, I, I just flipped towards I will do everything within my capability to make sure that I'm back in time. And I just done that. I made sure there's no sun and turn. Just done what I could. There probably was a, a couple of corners, a little bit that had to be cut, I suppose, to to get back in time. Um, and then first competition, uh, where was it? I think I was in Holland, and I ran down and I slipped on the board. And when I slipped on the board, I then ruptured my hamstring tendon, and so that was Olympics gone. Um, and I just couldn't believe it really. I was kind of like, why, why would I get such a big hit of injuries, you know, two big career threatening injuries in a row when I was hoping this would be, you know, the, the whole pinnacle of my, of my career, really. Obviously, my, my ankle still wasn't correct, um, which is why I didn't pull my hamstring for, for that, the year after my ankle incident. Um, and that was difficult. I wanted to run away, if I'm honest, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to think how, how best to put it to you. You know, when you see a dream that big and then the whole country is enveloped in that dream, that is, it's, it's like living in a recurring nightmare because, you know, you can go to, you know, go shopping, for example, you go buy some food and there it is, Olympics, London 2012. Turn on the TV, London 2012. Pay everywhere, you, you mm. couldn't. Get away from our new athletes who just went away on holiday. They're like, I haven't made it, so I'm just going away. I also knew because I've been to two Olympic Games before that that an Olympic Games is a special time, and especially obviously being in London. So I thought I'm going to try my best to be part of it, even though it's going to be hard. So I threw myself into some media stuff. So I really enjoyed that, and I actually went and watched the uh, men's triple jump final, which was painful, very painful, because I was hoping that was going to be my day at the same time, just gave me extra hunger and motivation to, to make sure that I can get back and perform you know, to the levels that I know I can perform at. 